This is James from Sorrowpunk.com, and I have a rant. <sighs> I have a rant. So I was in a group earlier that I'm in of other survival and prepared bloggers. And I nicked myself shaving. There was a post on DIY heaters. I like DIY. I end every show with DIY to survive, you guys. And I like heat. A little bit, at least, anyway. So I clicked on it, hoping to find something neat, something cool, something worth doing. Something worth doing. You know, and I thought maybe it was one of those, um, you can take a roll of toilet paper and put it in a metal coffee can and then drench the whole thing in like a whole bottle of rubbing alcohol, preferably 70-99%, light on a fire, you got a stove, you got a heat, you, it's, you can get warm off of it. Um, for emergency, that's, that will heat a small space. Will probably produce carbon monoxide, so make sure you have a CO2 alarm so you don't die, because that's not surviving. But I didn't see that. And I didn't see plans on how to make a tiny wood stove. I didn't see plans on anything worth doing. I found a m stupid freaking another clay pot heater. The ceramic flower pot heaters. The tea light heaters. Those stupid, stupid heaters um, were... You take a clay pot or two, ceramic terracotta pot, you take put two of them or whatever, you run bolts and washers and nuts down them, and then you spin them like you put two bricks on either side so it doesn't touch the floor, obviously, and then you put a metal cookie sheet or something underneath it to keep it from burning your floor and or rug, and then you put one to four tea lights in it. And magically, magically, you can heat your house with this. No, you can't. No, you can't. Um, and I'm so tired of seeing people share this around the, the survival community web. Stop doing it. A few years back, maybe 2012, 13-ish, I did this. I tried every variant I could think and or find of the clay pot heaters. Um, different bolt configurations, more nuts, more washers, um, more tea lights. And I tried it and tried it and tried it for a week. I tried every variation that I, who is pretty proficient in DIY, could think of. And to give the ultimate, the ultimate test, I ran it one day. So I woke up. I put it in my bathroom, which was like 4 by 12 feet. So the size of some closets, you know, in the apartment I lived in. Um, so I put it in there. There was no heat besides that tea light. I woke up, I went in there, I started four tea lights underneath it, shut the door, sealed it off. And uh, I'd figured out like the timing that it roughly took for the tea lights to run out and I'd go in there and replace them. And I ran this the entire waking day, so 17 hours or something. I would replace those tea lights. No change in the temperature at all. None. Zip. It had no effect. It doesn't work at all. Um, and when I, when I put out the blog post on it, and I'll link to it in the notes if you care to read it the, and see me put it together to see the instructions that you shouldn't follow, that you should not do, you should not waste your time or money on this piece of crap. You know, and I had some comments like for some crazy fucking hippies that were like you can't measure the results of the tea light but you can feel it what what no this tea light is not magical it's not in the harry potter world it doesn't break the rules of physics you can't get more energy out of it than the 
four tea lights you're putting into it. The advantages of it, if you just burn a regular tea light, the heat would rise like heat does to the ceiling and the heat, minimal as it is, would collect up there in the ceiling area. With this, with the mass of the clay pots, it localizes that heat and does radiate out the tiny amount of heat that the four tea lights do give off. So what does it do? It's a hand warmer. I mean, I think I think it's spent. I, I think I've spent twenty bucks on this project, maybe twenty-five. Um, clay pots are kind of expensive, and uh, basically I ended up with hand warmers um, that you can get for like fifty cents, and you can get enough to last for a year. Um, I wouldn't even say it's a fun project. I really don't. Um, it's a waste of time. And for the love of God, stop sharing it. Because it doesn't work. You're making yourself look stupid by sharing this nonsensical, breaking of physics, magical Harry Potter heater. Don't do it. Don't build one. Don't share it. If you want to share something, oh God, please share this video so people can be like, oh, okay, I was going to build it, but James from Sherald Punk says it's a waste of freaking time. Because it is a waste of freaking time. Come on, people. Use your head. Did you really, like, I tested it. I tested it. Not because I actually thought it was going to work, which would have been awesome. Who doesn't want to heat their house for, like, two to four tea lights a day. But if it worked, don't you think everyone would be doing it? Really? Everybody would do it. Because it would be the cheapest way to heat. Who, like, have you seen electric bills in the wintertime? Or other, whatever it takes to heat. That amount of money and energy is so high. Who wouldn't do this? Even a freaking moron could build this thing. It's just, you run a bolt down the middle and put some nuts on it. And then you put tea lights below it. This would be, this would be, if it worked, if it worked, there would be commercial units for sale in every store across the country. You couldn't walk into a Walmart or a Lowe's without finding one of these tea light heaters already made for you for about twice the price that you could build one everywhere. You would. You know why you don't see them? Because they don't freaking work. So, if you could share this video and like it so that more idiots can see, oh, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, I guess you can't like magically break the laws of physics and produce more energy than what you have going in there. No. If you personally just want to build a hand warmer that costs a lot of money, and you'd be better off with one of those like Zippo hand warmers or anything, anything. Put your hand in your pants for God's sake. Yeah, don't build this. Please share this video. And if one of your friends says they want to build one of these clay pot heaters, please slap the hell out of them. And with that, this has been JamesRestaurantPunk.com telling you do not DIY to build a clay pot heater because I will come punch you in the face.